Welcome back to Relatable Reactions, it's Josh and you've joined me for more Norsemen, finally. Uh, sorry about the delay, but we're back on it and looking forward to getting into this uh, next episode. Obviously, previously, Orm and Rufus are no longer slaves, with Rufus now seemingly probably more powerful than Orm, uh, becoming the law speaker, which will be a, a very interesting twist to see how he how he goes along with that and whether or not the power gets to his head which i imagine it could well do obviously aravid's plans of taxing the peasants uh although worked they're certainly not happy about it so i'm sure they're going to be some re re re, 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 re but i can't say the word so i'm sure there'll probably be some trouble with that obviously they kept mentioning about something that they kept calling the thing so i'm not sure what that is whether or not it's like a gathering of different clans or uh, some sort of ritual that they do uh, i suppose we'll have to find out and see what happens there see what plans are brought up and to see what else jarl varg has in store because i'm sure his plan isn't over yet and he'll have to carry on and work something with orm and let's go see what they're all up to so without further ado Norsemen, let's go. The day has come to bring down a tyrant. Our lives are not worth living if we don't have our freedom. Okay, we're getting right into this. He may take our lives, but he can never take our freedom. Yay! Is he even going to be there? That uh, whole thing about freedom does not apply to you, slaves. Okay, you are a breed of <laughs> subhumans. The whole thing about freedom and the value of that, that does not apply to you. Sorry, slaves. They weren't very useful last time. I don't see what they could do differently this time. They are here any minute now, so uh, I guess you can uh, lead the attack. Yeah, I mean, the commander leads the attack, yes. This is going to go poorly. What's your plan? Hmm? I'm the type of, of leader who, you know, leads from further back um that you know gives me a better perspective he looks very similar to orm are they related so you're just gonna stay here hiding that's your plan no everyone attacks when i blow this horn that's the plan everyone but you smart plan this whole thing will go just great arvid and his gang won't stand a chance so go find your place <laughs> <laughs> oh, hit him. Shield wall! Stand down! We're sitting ducks here! Let him! Let him! Let him! <laughs> oh! They wouldn't stand a chance. <laughs> Just attacked? <laughs> kind of seemed like it. <laughs> I'll see you on the other side. He's fine. Well, don't just stand there. Save him. Save him. Well, I don't think there's much that needs to be saved. What? They didn't exactly use live arrows. Just the fact that it didn't cross their minds that arrows need to be pointed. I'm. <laughs> um, I'm disappointed. Orm, wake up. No, no, but I, I was seriously hit. A mortal wound yeah. to the heart. That's so just... Yeah. He's fine. He's fine. It's sad. I what? knew something no. strange was going on. I got hit by many arrows, but nothing happened. Me too. I felt immortal there for a moment. I mean, that's all the peasants gone now, isn't it? Congrats on a great peasant revolt. <laughs> I told you. Waging war is a profession. You were right. So uh, th this this will not not happen again. No, it won't. So, uh, what's the point of this? You won already. 
I mean, th th no, Olvi, this is the stupidest thing I can do. I'm the last surviving farmer for miles around. That's a good point. Yeah, who's going to give you food? Huh? Who who's going to teach new farmers? I mean, you have only me. He's got a point. You look around, you will see that I'm actually the most important person here. <coughs> <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> What a great job he did. So it is like a meeting of different clans. That's how you blow a horn. Here for this meeting of the land thing, whomsoever violates this thing peace will be declared an outlaw. Those who seek to resolve dispute or ask to turn them in now. I uh, talked to the thing man and uh, it uh, turns out uh, that you, Arvid, have been uh, summoned by Jarlvarg. Uh, he wants to lay claim to that map, but uh, I wouldn't worry here. You have a pretty solid case. Yeah, I hope so. Well, I think about it. Has he actually done anything wrong? Because the map, the map was supposed to go to him. Arvid, Arvid, Arvid just uh, one thing. What are you doing? I gave you the Judas kiss. It's what Judas Iscariot gave Jesus from Nazareth as a death sentence and a definitive and final goodbye. Why would he do that? That is not okay. That's almost sexual harassment. Don't, don't tell him that. Because he might get suspicious. No, 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 no. He should do. I told him, then he would have thought it was just a regular kiss. Yes, but it... Just don't kiss him. Chieftain Ula was sent on a mission by me to find the route to the west. I was promised that a map would be drawn up and handed over to me. Uh, what the Alwag says is true. They had an agreement. Then, Varg attacked Nuraim, and they ended up raping the chieftain at the time, Orm. <laughs> so don't rape chieftains and demand maps in return. That's that's just wrong. Uh, objection, uh, Your Honor. Yes. Yes. Uh, it may have started out as a chieftain rape, but uh, but the tables suddenly turned, uh, so that the chieftain uh, actually became the uh, active part. Yes. Yes. And the chieftain used uh, fingers and uh, tongue and uh, counterhumped so uh, violently. <laughs> No, no, so, so uh, you know, if anyone is to be accused of being raped, it has to be the original uh, rapist. Because I actually ended up uh, raping him uh, with, my, with my anus. That sounds uh, plausible. Absolutely. But, uh, Jalvarg, did you attack Norheim? Well, I suppose some parts of it is true. There were some disagreements and some fairly gruesome... Murders? To be fair, it was after they had already said no to giving him the map. The thing rules in favor of Chieftain Arvid. He retains the right to keep the map. <laughs> Allow me to introduce. He says Arvid. hands again. Could put Gilberba getting With a gift. put good use. As a token of peace. It has a very special history. Yeah, how cool. Perhaps you want to hear it? Yeah, sure. Who's that? He's the leader of the nomads. It was his knife. Oh, he's the one who killed him. Yeah. Yes. It was my knife. And I stabbed it into your chieftain. And I really, really enjoyed it. He was tough when he cut off my ear. But he cried like a baby when he met that knife. He's an outlaw. Arvid is fair game. It's everyone's duty to kill him. Kill him all us! That escalated quickly. Should never violate the thing. Nine, no, Nine's new law speaker. 
And I have an announcement to make. It's up to me to appoint the man next in line to be Nordheim's chieftain. Is he going to do himself? Or will he do it? No, he does give it to Orm, okay. Proud and humble. Let's make Nordheim great again. <laughs> oh, I hate that. Don't like heights, don't like water. <laughs> this would be me. If he wasn't crushed against the rocks, he has guaranteed drowned. But uh, why are you lying on the ground? You aren't afraid of heights, are you? No, I'm not afraid of heights. <laughs> but when you're as tall as I am, you end up looking extra far down. That's a great point. I have uh, many new plans for Nordheim. You have many new plans for Nordheim already? Uh, when did you make those plans, Arm? Did, did you know about this, Arm? Yeah. Did I know in advance about the terrible tragedy that uh, would take place here? Yeah. That's impossible. Yeah, it's pretty strange uh, when uh, two former slaves suddenly end up as the chieftain and law speaker. Stop it. Arvid knew very well not to violate the thing piece. If I find out that you have anything to do with this, your tiny little cocks are gonna hang <laughs> around my neck. She does need a new necklace. She gave the last one away at that funeral. You don't think we should climb down and check if his body's there? No. No. No yep. way. See, I'm with him. Isn't that a classic mistake to assume someone is dead and then they turn out to be alive and they come back to take revenge and all that? Uh, yeah, it's a classic mistake, but uh, there's no doubt that he's dead, so, so we skip it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Condolences regarding a pregnant pig of yours. Apparently he was crushed against some rocks. I hear he threw himself out of a cliff, hoping he would bounce up again. But uh, I guess that's not the way blubbery works. Oh God, that's disgusting. What happened to the peasant farmer? What's happened? Where's Arvid? Arvid managed the feat of attacking someone at the thing, so he became an outlaw, unfortunately. Huh? Yes, and then he was killed by uh, Varg's men. So, um, heaven has gotten uh, a new star, in a way. My heart is crushed. So very crushed. Sure it is. Yes, I guess that means that you no longer are living in the longhouse, since you're not the chieftain's wife, Freya is. Uh, isn't that how the rule works? But I'm in the middle of a griefing process here. Are you? Mm hmm. Freya, now we have to be strong together. Oh, cold. Real yeah. mature, Freya. Real <laughs> mature behavior. <laughs> What's going on? Where's the peasant army? Yeah. Uh, they're in Valhall. Are they uh, all dead or? Yeah. What? But, I mean, and that's tragic. But the good thing is, I survived. Oh, okay. When is uh, Arvid going to come here and uh, ravish me and take the kids and burn the house to the ground? That's the thing. It's not going to happen. Because we are the only surviving peasants for miles around. I mean, they are completely depending on us now. We drew our winning ticket here. Apart, of course, from the fact that everyone we know died. Wow. But, you know. That uh, is amazing, I guess. Yes. Silver linings, silver linings. When we return to Norgheim, the third domino shall fall. So he's going back. And the plan is starting to come to fruition. The domino effect is working. Arvid betrayed them at the thing. Tried to start a fight, which obviously got him kicked off. Kicked off, got him. Got him, made an outlaw and... I mean, he's definitely survived. There's, n there's no way he hasn't. You know, they should have climbed down, but I'm with him. Heights are not my forte. So uh, I would have done the same thing and presumed he was dead. But super interesting to see where they go. He's obviously not finished. He alluded to it there at the end that he wants to go back. Um, I presume he's just, just after the map still. Uh, I don't know what else he could want from Nurheim. Uh, he's obviously not going to get a new pair of hands, so 
the map's the only only objective I could see him being after. Obviously, Freya will obviously play some sort of role in this. They're, I presume they're going to figure out that Orm and Rufus were in on this. I mean, everything leads and points to them clearly knowing and having this all planned out. So I'm, I'm interested to see how he starts running things. Uh, obviously, there's only one episode left, and I also know that this is kind of the end point of this. I know this third series is a prequel, and I also know the show, sadly, has been cancelled or hasn't been renewed. So I kind of hope they don't leave it on a big cliffhanger, but I presume they will, because I don't think they were obviously planning for it to end. So got a feeling i'm going to be a bit annoyed with how it ends but i've also heard that the prequel is probably best of the lot so i'm still interested in that and still interested to see what they do with that who knows what they're going to do to finish this there's obviously going to be a, a battle i presume they're obviously going back so so yeah we'll see what uh Yarvag has in store so i look forward to getting into this uh final episode next time but until then i will catch you later Thank you.